Hey, Moran Pober here with another Business Daily Show. And the topic for today is, if you're making $2 million a year in sales and barely profitable, something is wrong. Guys, what are you on track to do this year? Can you answer me that question? Or how much in sales you made last year? Can you tell me right away? Or how much from that you had in the bottom line of the company? Do you know those numbers or you just throw in num- random numbers at me? I'm asking those questions based on a conversation I had with a business owner of a business I'm thinking to buy and invest in. Like when you tell me we're going to surpass $2 million in sales this year, is it because you want it to be like that? Or is it because the first few months of the year actually looked like it? When you're telling me you're going to make $2 million this year. Are you even making money at the end of the day on those $2 million? Do you know the net margin of the business, which means what it will make after all the bills are paid for? Do you know those things? You think your business worth um, much if you're losing money every year? You think it's worth much? Like even if you're making $2 million in sales, there's need to be a really good reason for me to get into a business that is losing money. Um, I I got to see those mistakes. Um, Well, I guess I got to see mistakes that I can fix immediately in the the business that I talk to, for example. I got to see immediate mistakes that I can fix um, that I refer to in the business that I talk about. I, I saw a few mistakes. Let let me go through them, I guess. I saw a few mistakes that I think we could fix immediately. And, um, I mean, I hope we're going to get a deal going there. And let me give you a few mistakes that I saw that that business owner was doing there that might help you as well. First of all, you didn't know the costs. Like, what are your costs? Do you know them? If you own, uh, let's say, a restaurant, for example. Let's have that as as an example. Pretty straightforward, Um, there's food and there's clients. But are you calculating all of the costs? Are you sure? Um, For example, did you know that food costs are actually a function of what you sell and what it costs you, right? Do you also remember to include labor costs in your overall costs when you're telling me what your overall costs are? There are three things you want to think about if we keep the restaurant example, right? You want to think of cost of the food. You want to think of cost of the labor to make the food. And you want to think of what your rent and other operating expenses are. So you got to think of all of those three things, not just one. Because um, for you to do, again, $2 million a year in sales, your rent alone probably needs to be around 10000 a month. And you got to include, include those costs as well. And I don't care what business you have. If you got online e-commerce, retail company, whatever company you have, same thing apply there as well. You got to know all your costs, not just your product costs. Are you including your labor costs at all time? And pricing your product while considering those things as well. And let me ask you this. If for some reason a bad storm come through, and the business is off for a month. Even if your business is a little bit in the positive, you'll probably go from positive to negative in a very short period. So why would I want to invest in a business if it's like that? I mean, you got to think of ways to overcome those things every day. Remember um, also, Always know, always know how much money you got in the bank every day. You got to always remember to focus on that. It's so crucial, guys. Because something is broken in a business if you're making $2 million a year in sales and barely profitable. Either the pricing and then you should ask yourself how much I sell the product for or maybe the gross margins on your sales are wrong and could be better. Or maybe you need to understand better on what it costs you to get each dollar in. What it costs you to get each customer in, basically. Do you know what your costs are to acquire a new customer? 
and we'll talk more about how to calculate those things and get a better understanding of those numbers as we go, um, if you'll want me, of course, in future episodes. But to summarize what we had today, if you're making two million a year in sales and barely profitable, something is wrong. And don't expect someone to pay you for that business to take over your mistakes. I might buy such a business if I see a quick fix that we can implement immediately. But otherwise, there's a lot of things you must do and check with yourself before you assume your business is successful and worth something. So my challenge for you for today is how profitable are you? And if you have a lot of sales, why you're barely profitable? Do you know your numbers well enough to understand where is the problem? That's all I got for you today. I hope you enjoyed it. I would really appreciate hearing from you. Comment, leave reviews, ask me your questions, and go to moranpober.com slash daily. It's M-O-R-A-N-P-O-B-E-R dot com slash daily. If you want to get daily updates every time I put new tip out there with more notes and tips you can use in your business to grow it faster. And if your business is in trouble or you want to sell it or need my help to scale it faster, go to moranpober.com and get in touch as well. That's all I got for you today. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you tomorrow.